hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to use serial bus and mode bus functionality in our qt application mode bus protocol mostly used in a plc and a device like a stepper motor controllers so here we try to simulate that kind of functionality with our mode bus tcp client application and mode bus server example code so here you can see i run the mode bus server example application and you can here see the coils this create input and input register and holding register so here we try to read and write the holding register data values in modbus tcp client application and with the modbus server example application so let's start so basically first include your serial bus plugins and now include the basic require header file like qt core qt widget also include the qt gui also include the uh, qt serial bus okay now let's create the modbus client object modbus client okay now let's add the line edit control and button control to get the user input of server ip address and port number so also add the output button control assign the button name and here i am going to assign the default local ip and port number which is also set in server so assign the object name here port and host assign the button name now click create the click event first of all initialize the modbus client object so here we use a modbus tcp client application so use q modbus tcp client now let's get the uh, your host address and port from user input now connect the set the network parameter set connection parameter so q modbus device network address parameter so here let's set the host which is our local ip and also set the port parameter network port parameter now set the uh, timeout so set timeout is let's set the one second timeout and set the number of retries number of retries is let's set the five and now let's try to connect and check the if server is uh, client is connected with this server device so now let's check it so m client connect device if device is not connected then print the simple message connection failed and also print the uh, error string set the uh, display the same message on status bar show message otherwise if device is connected then print the connection is successfully done connection is done okay now let's run the application and check it so let's start the our server application now click on the connect so you can see the connection is done message on status bar also you can see the message is here now let's write the data in our modbus server so also add one push button control to write the data write the data now create the click event 
so to write the data first we have to prepare the so let's assign the uck vector to store the our data data to write okay now let's open the some values now let's assign the some 100 200 and 300 and 500 values let's assign the five values okay now data is ready now prepare the data units Modbus data units write unit so if we here we have to provide the our data type so here we access the holding register provide the start address and number of the values so here we provide the start address as a zero so our data will start from the zero uh, like a register zero one two three and four five so it's basically one kind of index okay so now let's set the all the values i less than total size and now set the value set value here we provide the index and the our value So now data unit is also ready. Now let's get the reply and write the data. So here we you call the send write for request send write request. We here we have to provide the write your data units and provide the server address. So you can see this server address is defined in our application is which is one. So every Modbus device has a, have a server address. Now let's connect the, our reply with your specific finish signal to get the response if data is successfully right or not. So if re, fini, re, uh, data is not finished, so let's connect our uh, slot uh, reply with your finish signal. Now check if reply has an any error. If no error, that means key data is successfully right. So let's print the simple message data is right successfully. Okay, otherwise print the message and error string. Data write fail. Also print that message in status bar. Also print the error string. And write the uh, successfully message also displaying status bar. And now let's run the application and check it. So first of all, they connect the uh, application with the server and write the data. So you can see the data is successfully displayed in a holding register text box. So here you can see the values in hexadecimal format. Now check the value. So here first of first value is 100. So you can see the holding register value in hexadecimal is 64. Also we write the 200 to so C8. 
and for the value for hex value 190 so you can see the value is here and for 500 so you can see 1 for 1 f 4 so value is successfully so right in your modbus server example and is send it to the server your application or device so by this way you can easily write the data in your modbus uh, in your device by use of modus protocol so please drop your comment if you have any questions about how to write the data in holding register by use of modbus, modbus protocol and thanks for watching my video please like this video Subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and share this video with your friends and in next video I will show you how to read the holding register value and display in our QT application. So wait for the next video and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.